Hello, hi guys, it's Ian Am here with the Samsung Galaxy S7 and I'm going to show you how easily you can route this device. Now this process will work for the international variants of the S7 and S7 Edge, so the ones that have the Exynos 8890 chipset. Now if you have any banking applications, they may not work after you go through this, so just make sure you actually need a route. Now with that being said, neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process. So do proceed at your own risk, make sure you've got a backup of all the important data. Now with at least 70% battery, head on over into your settings and go down to developer options. If you can't see developer options, you haven't got it enabled, in which case go down to about device go down to software info and then hit build number seven times until it says you're a developer. It says I'm already a developer because I can see developer options. So once you can see it, go in here and make sure you've got OEM unlock enabled. I'm just gonna enter my password. Shh, don't tell anyone. And that's now enabled. Also enable USB debugging, debugging, hit okay to the prompt and then we're good to go. So we can now turn off the device and there we go. Once the device is off, we're gonna press power, home and volume down simultaneously for a couple of seconds so that we can get into download mode. Now you may not be able to see this, but it gives you a warning saying a customer OS can cause critical problems, volume up to continue or volume down to cancel. We know what we're doing, so volume up to continue and it gives you a downloading screen. It's not actually downloading anything, it's waiting to download once you've got it connected to your computer. And hopefully you can see this if this focuses in a little bit. It says Odin mode along the top and it gives you the product code as of SMG930F for this particular Samsung Galaxy S7. Now this process will trip your Nox counter and it may void your warranty. So. As I say, do proceed at your own risk. Now, what we'll do is plug this in to my computer using a supplied micro USB cable. Once you've connected to your computer, just make sure you've got your drivers for your S7 already installed. I'll leave a link to those down in the description box below if you don't already have them. Once uh, you have them, head on over to this URL. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. It's from the awesome Chainfire developer. So if this process helps you out, make sure that you donate to him as well because it wouldn't be possible without him. So this is for the SMG930F as you can see here and as I say this is for the international variant so make sure you download this shouldn't take too long at all it's about 30 odd meg. Once it's finished downloading you can see here it is on my desktop here extract this I'm gonna use 7-zip to extract it straight onto the desktop I'll just bring into shot what it's actually extracted so as you can see it's extracted it's got odin here and it's got the .tar.md5 file which is the file that's going to be doing all the work really so load up odin as you can see i've already got the shortcut on my desktop i'm going to run this as administrator as i'm running windows 7 here bring that into shot and i'm going to click on ap make sure there's a tick next to it hit ap and then locate the file that you've just downloaded and you can see there's a .tar.md5 file. Select it, hit open, and it does some checking here and validates the file. Go into options and make sure you've got auto reboot and F reset time selected. If you have, you're red to rock. And we can now hit start. Ready? Here we go. And you can see it's gonna go through this process fairly quickly on the phone as well and it'll go through the downloading process. We've got a pass on Odin here to say it's finished, it's successful, and then the phone will start to reboot. We're done with the computer, so we can exit out of Odin and then return to the phone once it's finished rebooting. It may take a little while for the first time after it's uh, been rooted, so just be patient and give it a little bit of time. And here we are back at the lock screen, so we can get rid of the USB lead. And I don't know if you noticed, but the device actually rebooted about three times, which is okay. So enter your very top secret password that you had set. Shh, as I say, don't tell anyone. And you should have all your data here because this process will not wipe your handset clean. And you can see this is a screenshot that I've taken previously. 
So your data is all there, a-okay. And now we need to see if this process has actually worked. So we're gonna go into the Play Store and download an app called Root Checker by Joey Krim. It's completely free, it doesn't take too long to download at all. It's about four to five meg, I think. So once it's installed, hit open and you get a disclaimer, which we know. So we're gonna hit agree and hit okay to the welcome screen. Now the moment of truth, verify root status on this device. Yeah, we get the super user request, so hit grant. And boom, congratulations. Root access is properly installed on this device. How easy was that? And for the S7 Edge variant, if you've got that one, just make sure you download the correct um, root file from Android, from, I beg your pardon, from Chainfire's website, which I'll leave a link to down in the description box below. Just make sure you download the correct root file and the rest of the process is exactly the same. How easy was that? As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe, and tag along on social media at Inam Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.